while I was cowering in fear because of all that I had witnessed, I then looked up and I saw who the culprit was. I jolted awake, gasping for breath. I just had a dream but I can't remember it. I shook off the odd feeling that was bothering me and then looked at the clock, it was 3 a.m. I've never been afraid of the dark but there's something unusual tonight. I feel that someone is watching me. I live in a two-story house with lots of mirrors. My father had arranged the mirrors so that if you stood in the right position, you could survey the entire room but you couldn't be seen. I have a very accurate sense of hearing. For example, I can even hear my cat jumping on the couch in the living room while I'm in my second floor room. I have a keen sense that something is not right. And I have that feeling right now. Suddenly the phone rings. Without suspecting I got up from the bed to answer it. But what I heard was the sound of breathing with the same rhythm as mine. I also closed it. All the lights are off. I'm pretty sure I left the living room light on though. So I went downstairs to turn on the light. My eyes widened when I found the back door wide open. I swiftly tiptoed over the furniture and didn't walk the usual route because I wanted to close the door quickly. I thought. It's no use jumping up and down, anyway the distance to the door doesn't get any shorter. I also think of it as a reflex. It was pitch dark so I strained my ears. Fumbling along the wall, I stepped into the kitchen. Arriving in the kitchen, I grabbed a large knife that was lying in the sink, then prepared to attack. I tried to control my fear. Then I heard a dripping sound in the sink. I reached my hand out to feel the faucet cover which turned out to be tight. Then I felt for the light switch and pressed it. When the lights were on, I saw a terrible sight that shocked me. The source of the dripping sound that I heard earlier. My cat's carcass hung over the sink, its body dissected from the neck down. His blood was in the sink, and the sound of the dripping was his blood dripping through his tail. My hands and knife were stained with blood. See with your ears not your eyes. Or you will be really surprised. Then without any warning the light suddenly went out. As my eyes began to adapt, I strained my ears to detect any sounds. The sound of BLAM echoed from the back door, I was so surprised I jumped up that my body hit the refrigerator. The blam sound continued but it was getting lower and lower until it was no longer heard. I walked back along the wall and felt for the cupboard door and reached for my baseball bat. I stepped into the back door clutching a baseball bat in my face. I let out a stifled scream after opening the door. My father's body hung with a computer cable around his neck. The cable ran from his room upstairs, and his body was hanging outside the window. When his body swayed, I saw a note stuck to his chest. One done, two minus. You're the last one, so enjoy the show. Then I heard a squeaky evil laugh, raising the hairs on my body. The sound came from all directions. Once again I listened intently, and I heard footsteps running on tiptoe from upstairs. I ignored it, then went to check the electrical circuit box. When I opened it, I found a note that said, The lights are off for some reason, you can turn them on if you want. But be prepared, the scene that follows will shake your soul. I tore up the note and pressed the switch. I warned you, a voice shouted, laughing merrily. And sure enough, I saw in front of me now decorated with the corpses of ten people I didn't even know hanging in various positions. I fell to my knees watching it. Some were hanging from their necks, some were upside down from their thumbs, and some were hanging down by tufts of their hair. Their mouths were hanging open and their eyes had all been gouged out. The height of their hangers was about a foot above me. At that time, even though I couldn't hold back my tears, I still stood up. I decided to face whoever this crazy killer was. I walked towards the stairs, but my eyes kept looking at the corpses. Suddenly a sound like something rolling down from the top of the stairs came to me. After I see it turned out to be a bloodied hand. Then again, this time the leg pieces. Then hands, then feet, and finally the head. My mother's head. 
I gasped and lunged backwards until my back was pressed against the corner of the room, then I looked at the mirrors around me. All the mirrors reflected the corpses, and the corpses glared at me. My knees shook so that I fell to the ground, then I started to cry shaking. While I was cowering in fear because of all that I had seen, I then looked up and I saw who was the culprit. I looked up at the only mirror hanging on the ceiling, and in it was reflected the figure of the killer, the monster who had done all this. Yes, that's me. Then the legs, and finally the head. My mother's head. I gasped and lunged backwards until my back was pressed against the corner of the room, then I looked at the mirrors around me. All the mirrors reflected the corpses, and the corpses glared at me. My knees shook so that I fell to the ground, then I started to cry shaking. While I was cowering in fear because of all that I had seen, I then looked up and I saw who was the culprit. I looked up at the only mirror hanging on the ceiling, and in it was reflected the figure of the killer, the monster who had done all this. Yes, that's me. Then the legs, and finally the head. My mother's head. I gasped and lunged backwards until my back was pressed against the corner of the room, then I looked at the mirrors around me. All the mirrors reflected the corpses, and the corpses glared at me. My knees shook so that I fell to the ground, then I started to cry shaking. While I was cowering in fear because of all that I had seen, I then looked up and I saw who was the culprit. I looked up at the only mirror hanging on the ceiling, and in it was reflected the figure of the killer, the monster who had done all this. Yes, that's me. All the mirrors reflected the corpses, and the corpses glared at me. My knees shook so that I fell to the ground, then I started to cry shaking. While I was cowering in fear because of all that I had seen, I then looked up and I saw who was the culprit. I looked up at the only mirror hanging on the ceiling, and in it was reflected the figure of the killer, the monster who had done all this. Yes, that's me. All the mirrors reflected the corpses, and the corpses glared at me. My knees shook so that I fell to the ground, then I started to cry shaking. While I was cowering in fear because of all that I had seen, I then looked up and I saw who was the culprit. I looked up at the only mirror hanging on the ceiling, and in it was reflected the figure of the killer, the monster who had done all this. Yes, that's me. The monster that had done all this. Yes, that's me. The monster that had done all this. Yes, that's me. My dream flashed fast in my memory. I'm a wanted serial killer. I slaughtered people from house to house. I kill all living things as sadistically as possible, torturing before killing my victims. I attack the next victims every time I wake up. In the reflection of the mirror, I saw myself covered in blood, standing with a devilish smile on my face. Then I heard my crazy voice say, I told you, you're the last. And without hesitation, I slit my own throat, while smiling I felt my body twitch and turn pale. As my vision grew darker I heard an evil voice say. Welcome home. 